to that is be at peace with yourself, which is really important because if one person don't have peace, can hurt another people, you know? Even if you don't know this, even if you cannot realize of that, you can hurt a lot of people if you're not peace with yourself. And that is something that I learned about the experience. You know, you have to love yourself, take care of yourself, train your mind, like your body. And if you cannot find peace alone, you can make charity. And another thing that I learned about experience is the make charity is really helpful, you know. It's something that you can do and you don't need money to make charity. Sorry, it's a little bit slow. Well, this are my experience, you know. I come from a family who don't have a lot of money. When I was a young kid, my father used to mix the milk with water with water so we can all drink something and then when I was a kid I was thinking that to help people you need to have money and I was thinking when I grow up I want to have a lot of money to help other people and I was thinking I wish I can have a lot of money buy a lot of food help the people the animals I know many of you maybe have those thoughts too when you are kids or maybe now but then I realized that to make charity, you don't need money. You know, when I started the journey for the Miss Grand International, I had to make social work, and I don't have money. And I think, how can I help other people if I need help? Because I was no money, so I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna try anyway, and I take all the money that I have, that it wasn't much, like $100, but in Paraguay, you can make a lot with $100. So I buy, many toys in Gandhi and I go, I went to a home to help people, especially kids who don't have family, many don't have parents or they have but they are in rehab and it was the kids day in Paraguay Children's Day and I just grabbed some toys and candies and when I arrived at the place they were so happy to see me and I thought that they were happy because I bring toys for them and when I started giving them, there was like no emotion, they, they didn't want toys, and I felt that many people do the same thing, they do the same thing that day. Many people just take the toys and leave there and have a great day, goodbye. And I was like, well, it's so weird to see kids who don't like toys, who don't like candies, because I grew up in a family with four brothers, and we always fight for the toys and everything, so... When I have the opportunity to take them, the kids, the, the gift, the toys, I just realized that they want someone to talk. They want someone to share with, to speak with. So they just make me a couple of questions like, oh, you're a real princess. This one is made for gold. Do you live in a castle? And when I just talk with them and share with them, they were so happy. That kid is a funny story because all the girls were making a line to put the crown and the other looked so happy and the kid was like, mm, I want to make, I want to put that crown too. So I put in the crown and he was so happy and I told him, oh, now we are a king, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny and I realized that to make charity you actually don't need money. You just have to make your time to spend with people. If you go to a place when they take care of the old people, you come to realize that they don't want material stuff. They want someone to talk with, to tell the histories, the life, and all the things that they come through. So, to make charity, you don't need money, and you can be in peace with yourself. It helps a lot. And I want to, everyone feels the same thing that I feel. Sorry, this is <laughs> so let's just sweep up. Okay, that was me when I was a kid. <laughs> and another thing about our campaign is to stop the bullying also. You know, no one's perfect and you have to love yourself. When I was a kid, I I was constantly bullying about people, me girls in the school, but I never realized of that until I have 17. Can you believe that? Because when I was a kid, my mom raised me in a way to love myself so much 
to just don't care what people say. And when they are just bullying me, I actually don't believe that. I mean, mean girls just come to me and tell me that the hottest guy in the school wants to date with me. And I was like, okay, thank you, but I'm not interested. And <laughs> I actually never realized that that was bullying, you know? He actually don't want to date with me. <laughs> and that's what we need to do. We need to learn to not make bullying, but we also need to learn how to deal with the bullying. People only can hurt you if you let the people hurt you. So we have to we have to let the kids know, we have to teach them. Even though you don't have kids, if you have brothers, neighbors, we have to raise them in a way that they can deal with the bullying. And that's it, you know. And something that I always say is that it's not enough to ignore evil or not doing evil. We have to do good actions because many times we just say, I'm a good person, I go to my work, then I go studying, I don't steal, I don't kill money, I'm a good person, but it's actually not enough. We need to do good action, even though you don't have money, you can be good with the people around you, you can make charity, you can help a kid how to read, how to speak, and that is also charity. And it's more important than just buy stuff and give to the people. So that is something that I really learned from my experience and I want to share with all of you that may, you might not have to power some money, but you can change, you can change many people's lives.